the main event of Trillaverse 5 here at the Make legendary sure Kia up, Forum. Tervel Pulev, the younger brother of Kubrat Pulev from Bulgaria. The Olympic bronze medalist is Tervel Pulev, wearing the same gloves that his Sergey, brother just wore moments ago in his win over Mouth Jerry piece. Forrest. Mouthpiece. All right, gentlemen, you receive the instructions in the dressing room. Know what I expect. Good, clean fight. Legal punches here for you. Legal punches here for you. Touch your gloves. Look to both of you. Sergey Kovalev told Egis Klimas that he wanted to go to 175 years ago to make that division hot. He's a three-time world champion at 175. He told Klimas, I'm going to make the cruiserweight division exciting yet again as I will become a world champion. Tervel Pulev said, this is the biggest name I'm, I've had to fight, and Ready. I am going to get the victory Ready. in my quest towards a world Box. championship. We are underway. Great for a Showtime Sean Porter, AC Cassiani, along with Sean Wheelock and the beautiful Roxy Diaz here at the legendary Kia Forum in Los Angeles, the main event of Triller vs. Five. Guys getting at it right away. Uh, Kovalev starts the fight with an opening, opening the round with a big hook. Swing and a miss. But both these guys ready for the action. The one thing, and you see Terrell Pulev coming right at Sergey Kovalev, is that Ibn Kaysen said, look, Kovalev's going up to a brand new division. We're going to see how he responds to a guy that is bigger and stronger that can take his big shot that not many light heavyweights were able to absorb and deal with when Sergey Kovalev was the champion at 175. You know, I, I always tell I'm not so sold on a guy moving up the weight class. You always have to understand that a guy loses weight to get to his to get to a weight class. So now, if anything, Kovalev is comfortable where he is. However, he's got a, a, a Kurdell who's right in his face and trying to put it on. Yeah, Kovalev is going toe to toe with him. He's coming out aggressive. He's looking to attack, he's looking to capitalize. I think mentally that is showing Sergey Kovalev, guess what, I'm not afraid of you, I'm not scared of you. That mythical mystique that you had years ago, that's in the past. This is a brand new era here in 2022, and it's a brand new division that I'm not gonna welcome you too kindly to. That's right, you can't live off your name forever. Once your gun goes warm, you know, people are gonna test you. So here, they, here he is. He's going toe to toe with him in the middle of the ring. Let's see what happens. I'll say this, Sergey Kovalev was actually happy during fight week, and even Kathy Dubas, promoter, said uh, that's a little bit different compared to Sergey Kovalev of old. Yeah, I always say a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. You know, so when we get a, a, a joyful <laughs> Kovalev, opposed to the Kovalev we've seen in recent years, again, we expect a really good Kovalev. And I've seen, I think we're seeing the best of both fighters right now. I like how Pulev is so aggressive. Yeah, you're not going to be happy unless you're comfortable. So he must be comfortable in his weight. He must feel good about his training camp. And he must feel good coming into this fight. Yeah, you know what? And, and I think it may confuse people when I say a happy fighter is a good fighter because you would expect a mean fighter <laughs> to be a good fighter. But it doesn't take that kind of energy or emotion to perform well in a boxing ring. It takes you being who you are. Most times we're, we're happy people in life. You know what I mean? So more, more times than not, if you're happy, you're comfortable, that 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 put that means you put on a good performance and fight back. But Sean, you know this making weight sucks. And Sergey Kovalev said the last couple years of me at 175, it was absolutely miserable during fight week. Oh, he looks very fluid right now. Good one, one two right there by Kovalev. Find a moment to the first. Stop! Do that again. We got ourselves a fight. Okay, you're better than that. They felt each other out. Okay? They're going to try to get you to wrestle and all that. You stay relaxed like you're doing. Keep the jab going and keep shooting that right hand to the body for two more rounds. And then after that, we're going to come straight down the pipe with it. Okay? Very good round. Very good. Very good, champ. Very good. That's just, hey, they're going to try to wrestle you. They're going to try to rough you up. You stay calm. Don't worry about none of that. Okay? Breathe. Breathe. Okay? Same thing. Keep circling, okay? What did you take away from what Buddy McGirt 
told Sergey Kovlev the fact that they're trying to wrestle you, they're going to try to get close and rough you up. Yeah. Did you agree with that assessment? I, I like what I heard from both corners. We didn't hear much from Kulev's corner, but both, cor both corner men really trying to just control the emotional energy of both fighters. But he said, hey, stay calm, keep coming down the middle with the one two the, to the head and to the body, and then we'll pick it up after that. From my standpoint, Showtime, it seems like the mindset for Tervel Pulev and their game plan, because we tried to ask them, and they were uh, a bit, they held back, obviously, for their own reasons. But it would appear that Pulev is going to try to outwork one Sergey Kovlev and out-hustle him. Yeah, he's, uh, it looks like right now Pulev is just trying to stay in the face of Kovalev. I like what Kovalev is doing. He's throwing a trailing jab, that right there. So he'll go head to the body and then come back up with a trailing jab. Nobody's expecting the jab to come on the end of a shot. Usually it's a right hand or it's a hook. So that straight punch, that last trailing punch is landing for Kovalev. So one would say that is from the tactical brilliance of Buddy McGurk. Hey, I used to do it too. So the tactical brilliance of, 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 of good boxing and, and, and good trainers. Look at that one right there. Nice. Trailing jab. It's going to land every time. Well, Kovalev seems to be getting a little bit more warmed up as he is trying oh. to throw a whole big shot there by Kulev. I don't know if Kovalev was off balance, but momentarily, that certainly caught the attention of the former light heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, dude, Kovalev's got to use his head movement or he's got to step up. I love the trailing jab, but after that punch, what are you going to do? He got caught because he's watching his work. He was admiring what he was doing. There you go. Kovalev's being disciplined right now. Pulev is coming in there trying to be very aggressive, but Kovalev is a veteran. He knows how to handle it. He knows how to absorb that. Wherever you're joining us around the world, we thank you so much for watching Triller vs. 5, brought to you by Triller Fight Club. Sergey Kovalev making his debut here in the Cruiserweight division. Terrell Pulev undefeated 16-0 with 13 knockouts. The younger brother, Kubrat Pulev, who was just victorious over Jerry Forrest. Wait, did you just say around the world? Are we international? Around the world, my friend. That's what we are about. It is a global brand, is Triller Fight Club. We international tonight. All over the place, baby. All right, all right. And we're here in Los Angeles. Great to be at the legendary Kia Forum that so many greats in music and entertainment and sports have held center stage. Kovalev popping. Yeah, I was say, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that Kovalev is just out hustling Kulev right now, beating him to the punch, and of course, ending these exchanges with that right there, that trailing jab that I spoke about a little earlier. Yeah, he's snapping it. He's snapping the jab. He's leading with it, and he's ending with it. Yeah. Kovalev made an adjustment. Kulev was aggressive. I thought successful in round one. Kovalev has turned the tables. Yeah, we, we like to say uh, Kovalev right now, he's fighting in the mid-range very well. Don't pull out with your hands up. He's trying to catch you with the right hand. Uh -huh. Stay low in there. And just keep working the jab. Your jab is giving him trouble. Double up on the jab, right hand to the body. Yeah. Two couple more rounds of that, baby. Very good. All right? Don't look for the one shot. Just double jab, right hand. OK? You faint, all right? Tervel Pulev hey, there. Back, stay back. The instructions for Buddy McGirt to Sergey Kovalev, double jab followed by the right hand. Your thoughts, Sean? You know what? I keep hearing him say two more rounds of that. You know, uh, I think the round before he said four more rounds of that. You know what I mean? So you can hear that there's a game plan set in place. I can't wait for these two rounds to go by to see what the adjustment is after these next two rounds. But in the meantime, we got Kovalev working his jabs and working in the mid-range very well. I have the two rounds to none for Kovalev. Yeah, I, I do too. He's keeping him on the outside. Kovalev can't let him, you know, can't let him get inside. Kovalev, you know, he, he's been victim to that flash punch. You have to keep him outside and control the fight.
There's a nice left from Travel Pulev as the tension is certainly palpable here. There's a lot on the line in this fight. The cruiserweight debut for Sergey Kovalev. If he's successful tonight, he becomes a player in the cruiserweight division. Travel Pulev, he holds a regional title. If he wins tonight, he gets closer to his ultimate goal of challenging for a world title. I'm not, I don't want to say that I'm right, but I did say the last round, Travel was getting out hustle. You see this round, he's picked up his pace. He's throwing more punches. He's working much more from the outside instead of trying to walk on and walk into Kovalev and just punch once he gets on him. He's trying to work from the outside now, AC. Yeah, I think he heard you showtime. He called it. I don't know if he heard me, but I, I know he's got a good corner as well. And, you know, I think that their corner has finally made an adjustment right there, Lenny. Big right hand from the outside on Kovalev's head. Well, the crusher is looking to crush Travel Pulev, but Pulev is not going away. It's a high-stakes fight between two men who are trying to show that they belong in the top tier of the cruiserweight division. I'm a fan of feints. And I see now Kovalev is using the feint, trying to set the jab up. He's juggling that left hand. Classic Russian fighting style right there. And then right there using his feet. It's good boxing by Kovalev. And Kovalev has changed and is not necessarily looking for that home run shot. He's boxing and letting the big shot come to him. I know we're going to shot soon, but I, I, I just got to say, I like the way that both guys are working right now, and it's about who can implement their game plan and make it work the best. Right now, I feel like it's Kovalev, but I could be wrong. But so far, the crusher doesn't necessarily look like the crusher as he's trying to tear the head off of Terrell Pulev. Instead, he looks like a, a smooth operator in there using his boxing. <laughs> well, I like that. It, yeah, he's feeling it out. Pulev is being extremely aggressive, and, uh, and Kovalev looks like he's feeling out, the, seeing what he can do with him at this point. And yes, I did use the thing smooth operator because I'm a big fan of Shot Day, but that's another yeah. topic for another day. <laughs> School music heads, you know what I mean. Trilla, we can say it was Trilla. <laughs> That's right, baby. Trilla Fight Club here in LA. Wow. Away we go to the fourth. All right. Leaning this way, throwing the jab. Throw the jab from this side now. Okay, the right hand would be better from this side. When you're on this side, the right hand doesn't have enough leverage. If you hear jabbing, jabbing, then shoot the right hand from here, okay? Beautiful, you're boxing beautiful, baby, okay? This is easy work for you, just stay focused. Because when you're jabbing from here, he's jabbing with you and he's catching you. When you're jabbing from here, he's not. Here's right. some of the work. Nice right hand landed by both guys, but then guess what? That trailing jab lands for Kovalev. So when you're scoring the fight, you see both guys land the punch. And then you see, you see right there, the ending is what people, what everybody remembers. And right there, that jab, right there, that jab is the one that scores almost every time he throws it. Box, get that stool. As we head towards round four, Sean through the first three rounds, how do you have it? Ray, it's deceptive because I have it 3-0, three rounds to my 30-27 Sergey Kovalev, but three close rounds, especially rounds one and three, two a little more for Kovalev. For me, ultimately, this comes down to, as a judge, are you favoring that lead hand of Kovalev or the rear right hand of Pulev? For me, Kovalev is sticking the jab. He's using it to really land, whereas Pulev is putting out the jab to try to turn over the right hand. Showtime, what do you think of Sean Wheelock's scorecard? Well, you know, we're on, we're on one accord tonight. I got a three round zero for uh, Kovalev as well. I do with everything that, uh, that uh, Sean just said. And I got to say this about the, the jab hand of Kovalev. I like to say that the, the jab hand needs to be a paintbrush, and you got a canvas in front of you. And we see right now Kovalev is using that jab in, in, in multiple ways, and he's really painting with that jab hand. Well, yeah, he's kind of throwing it out there as a range finder. Then he's got it like a piston as he's snapping back the head of Travel Pulev at times like a Pez dispenser, and then he goes to the body, a stabbing jab. Yeah, yeah, and, then, and I like the fact that he, you know, he's kind of leaving his feet when he throws that trailing jab, he leaves the feet because there's no power on that jab because it's trailing, so he leaves his feet to get the power from his leg. So I really like that from Kovalev. And moments ago, you just saw how many jabs Sergey Kovalev has thrown. It's well over 100. I missed that, but that's, and, and I'm, a, I'm a fan of the jab. So to hear a guy throwing 100 jabs through four rounds, keep it up. 
and you will win. The jab, the most basic punch in boxing, can get you to the promise. I was game. never good in math as a kid in school, but that's oh. about 33 oh. jabs oh. around at least oh. for Sergey Kovalev. Yeah. yeah, that's active. That's being active. So he's scoring them points. I want to see some more power shots, but he's, <laughs> he's picking them apart. Yeah. Boy, and you were seeing the right eye of Travel Pula start to swell a little bit, guys, from the jabs of Sergey Kovalev. Yep, that's exactly what that is. And people say that the jab is can't really necessarily do a lot of damage physically. I'm telling you, man, the jab sets up everything else. And in Kovalev's case, it finishes everything else. That trailing jab it, it has been uh, magic for Kovalev tonight. I got to say, the jab just stopped Pulev in his tracks. He landed a jab right on the jaw and on the chin of Turval Pulev. Look at that right there, man. That's good boxing right there by, by the crusher. We, 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 uh, I, 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 I get what you're saying, AC. You yeah. see some problems. Man, look, Larry Holmes, what he said. Get him drunk with the jab. Get him drunk. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Well, what do you think we're going to do after this, boys? We're going out all night tonight. No, we did no. some heavy lifting. Hey, AC dropped all the gems I need, man. This, this was enough for me. Well, you better be ready to hang out with me tonight here in Los Angeles, but that's another topic for another day as we get to the end of the fourth round. That right hand to the body is the shot, okay? Keep shooting that right hand to his body, baby. He can't get away from it, okay? Stop jumping in, sugar. Okay, you're lunging in with that move. He's, he's, he's hip to that move now. So we got to do something different. So we got to be here. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Here. And when you come in sometimes, I want you to come in with that right hand to the body. Always stop, stop coming up to it, okay? Okay? Rather than that, you're too slow for you. You can see everything that's coming. You're smart, okay? Use your face. Okay? Let's go, suck it down, mouthpiece in. But back him up, Sergey. Stay back, mouthpiece. Stay so back. two different things when it comes to the corners. Ibn Kaysen really doesn't say too much that we're able to pick up on our mics, whereas Buddy McGurd is a lot of information, but that's just Buddy himself. What do you think about that, Showtime? I even had to peek over there to, to the blue corner to see if if uh, Pulev's brother was saying something to him. There's not much information coming from the corner of Pulev, and, and when you see a fire, one fighter leaving the other behind, it could be directly because of the corner. And look, his brother put on a black T-shirt and they immediately came out. I don't even know if he was able to get a shower in yet after his win over Jerry Force. Nah, man, you can't wash off that man, man. You gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta soak straight. in that, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he came straight out the room with that. <laughs> And he's wearing his brother's gloves, his Travel Pula, that of Kubrat, as he urges on his younger brother against Sergey Kovalev in Kovalev's cruiserweight debut. Here's the adjustment for Pula. The adjustment is to catch Kovalev, Kovalev coming in. It's got to be a, a, a quick counter right hand or quick hook. It's got to be a counter. You can't, you can't keep trying to work your way first. You got to counter Kovalev, see what's coming, and, 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 and react to it quickly. Yeah, get in on him. You know, that flash, that flash shot. That's what he needs. Exactly. Well, what a night that we've had here at the legendary Kia Forum. We had Cypress Hill and Onyx that really set the stage with their tremendous music, getting this crowd revved up. We've seen the Vargas family dynasty victorious tonight. We also saw Brock Pulev with the win over Jerry Forrest with the issue with the gloves, and now we got the main event with Sergey Kovalev with his cruiserweight debut against the undefeated Turgal Pulev. Man, the Vargas family went 3-0 tonight. <laughs> with two knockouts. Yeah. And we saw legendary music tonight, hip-hop at its finest, fight night music. That's what we give you on a weekly, monthly basis, the Triller Fight Club. And you're seeing that Kovalev is coming forward still. We saw Kubra outbox his opponent, and now we're seeing Kovalev outbox this Kovalev. It's just, it's complete boxing on both ends, and, and, and right now, Kovalev is the better boxer. Here we go. That is an astute observation from you, Showtime. 
Who are you calling a stoop? A stoop. That, that, that's, that's a word. word. That's a word. It's a word. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> you gotta go, you know, and, you know, you gotta go into my thesaurus. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, you know what's an easy word to understand? Jack. Yeah. That's what's been yeah. happening for Sergey Kovalev. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and now they pick up the pace a little bit in the combinations coming from Kovalev. I really like what he's doing. Three and four punch combinations now. That right there, just a double jab. That double. Yep, and you see him countering in combinations as well. He gave him a double jab, a double shot. Maybe that's what we're going to do later on tonight, and that's the end of the fifth. At least I will. <laughs> Same thing, same thing, okay? Ron, you know when you play with your left hand out like this? There's a lovely Jennifer, our lovely Triller Fight Club ring girls. I gotta tell you guys, Triller Fight Club ring girls are exceptional, very beautiful in their own way. AC, kind, you know, yeah. Showtime. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, not yeah. getting any help. They're from you all guys. great girls, but. Me and sort of married. I'm not saying I'm talking about the personalities. That okay? I don't know him. I do. Stay that low. I don't mean like that, but okay, let's talk. 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 Okay, let's Kovalev has not been able to do that for five rounds now. And speaking of getting to know, Sergey Kovalev has gotten to know Travel Pulev quite well. The jab especially, guys. <laughs> yeah, that jab has been especially special for Kovalev. That's the distance he has to keep him at. That's how, that's how he's going to win this fight. Arms reach, right, guys? Yeah, he's keeping my baby. And I've been counting the rounds because I heard Buddy saying earlier, you know, give me two rounds of this, give me two rounds of this. What are you going to do now? What's the what's the change? Is a change even needed? I really don't think so. But if you got something better for me, buddy, show it to me. <laughs> I think Buddy McGirt has made up his own numerical system. <laughs> it's Buddy McGirt, Matt, that we're hearing and witnessing here in Los Angeles. You know what? Every fight's different. Every every fight, you know, your style is different depending on who you're in the ring with. So, you know, I think it's very smart for Buddy to break this fight down in rounds and say, hey, this is what we're going to do rounds one through three. This this is what we're gonna do in the, in, the, in the half of the fight, in the second half, and the list goes on, you know? So I like to see what, what buddy's got up his sleeve. So break it up in segments. There you go. It's sometimes, like that. that's, sometimes that's where the game plan is. Sometimes the game plan is not A through B, or A the entire way through, you know what I mean? You, as we said before, you have B, plan B, plan C, and they may take a set depending on where you are in the fight. Sometimes you gotta change it up on somebody. Uh, so far, Kovalev's Cruise control is working. He's on cruise control right now. I, I like that, AC. Kovalev is on cruise control. Pull, pull that. Get him off balance. Don't allow him to take control. You allow him to leave his feet with trailing jabs. You allow him to get in your space. You said you were going to impose your will. Start to do that, Pulev. Start to do that. I got to say, the Bulgarian contingency certainly making a lot of noise in favor of Travel Pulev here at the legendary Kia Ford. Going off your point, Showtime. Time. Pulev Buddy, needs a plan B. Your shoes. Yeah. Pulev I don't want to step on the plan B. Shoes He's not working. Um, I can tell you. Yeah. There you go. He's looking at his corner now. Whenever I went to the neutral corner, I was always looking at my corner for instruction. You see, Pulev getting instruction from his brother. He's got to turn it on mentally. Start to keep up with Crusher, with the Crusher, and start to outpunch the Crusher, and not allow the Crusher to have his way. Yeah, you're losing the battle of distance right now. Yeah. You no have coaching, to cut no that distance. Yeah. You gotta go. get in. Time yep. in, let's go. Box. And you see that the shoes had to be tied of Sergey Kovalev under a minute to go here in the sixth. I had to look good, you know what I'm saying? So if you put tape on one shoe, you got, you got, I got. I got to do on my boat. I got to coordinate. I got to coordinate. <laughs> That's why they call you Showtime Sean Porter. Showtime. I, I know we've been Kovalev heavy. He's winning this fight. Jab to the head, straight right to the body, and then another jab to the head. That's good boxing right there. And that's something you don't see often, especially at the cruiserweight division. And Sean, the right eye, there is a cut underneath the right eye of Travel Pulev. Compliments of the jabs from the crusher, Sergey Kovalev. Who's control? You see that? Yeah. Now, now he's starting to juggle the hands. Now he's starting to play with them. Finding his range in this distance is what he did the first 
Two, two oh, wow. Now he's got it. Now he's just going to keep working. He's starting to bust up Travel Pulev, and that could be a bad indication for the Bulgarian as we head towards the seventh. Kovalev's feeling frisky Stick now. He's, he's doubling up on it. He's coming with the right behind it. it. Okay, you but his face is all bruised up. He can't listen. This he can't deal with it. Okay. I guess that's your role right here. Listen, 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 listen. Jab, jab up top with this hand and shoot a right hand to the body. Uh -huh. Let's go back to the body this round. Okay? Uh -huh. Okay, listen, you got him where you want him. Let's keep him there. Okay, don't look for the knockout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. You box no angle coming in bullet. Okay? You gotta make him feel his old bones, okay? Right here, this replay. We saw Kovalev juggling the hands and then come right in with a right hand and a straight jab. If you haven't been paying attention to me, pay attention. That's a trailing jab. That's a punch that not many fighters expect. A straight shot right down the middle with the off hand. Stay in control. With the, or with the lead hand, it's going to land every time. You called that out early. He's been carrying that the whole fight. The whole fight, you know? Round seven, this one's scheduled for 10. Buddy McGirt with some tough love to Sergey Kovalev. He said, you're looking for the knockout too much. Stop that. Ah, man, that's tough love. I, I feel like Kovalev is doing exactly what he's, what he's supposed to do. He looks comfortable, and he doesn't look like he's doing too much or too little. I think Kovalev is working according to according, exactly how he should be. Maybe Buddy knows something that I don't know. Sean Wheelock, your scorecard thus far. Six rounds to none, Sergey Kovalev, 60-54. You know, there are wide 10-9s and narrow 10-9s. There are some narrow 10-9s here. That's mainly because Kovalev is not throwing a lot with the right hand with power. But for me, he is absolutely dominating this fight with his jab. He's so confident in his jab, as you see. He's actually starting to throw two ones now in this fight. That's how well it's landing. So you're telling me a few narrow rounds? I'm trying to make a Harold Letterman. <laughs> the late great Harold Letterman. We miss you, Harold. Yeah. Couple, no, I agree with Sean, man. Uh, you know, we're, like I said, we're on one accord tonight. There, there have been some narrow rounds, not too many. You know, I, I feel like Kovalev has been in control. And it's, uh, you know, largely part because of his boxing ability. We spoke on this last fight. We could see that the older Pulev was just out, was a level above Jerry Forrest. And we can see that this Kovalev is a level above this Pulev. I think that Kovalev, he's so relaxed in there. He's adapted to the cruiserweight division, at least tonight, exemplary and with flying colors. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we can't say. Look at the headbutt, flash of heads. Sean Wheelock, what do you see? It seemed as though Sergey Kovalev is reacting to a thumb in the eye, but Raul Kais Jr., the outstanding referee, told Turgel Pulev, watch the elbow. Regardless, Sergey Kovalev in full control, he said, I don't need time. Well, he looks a little shook up right now. Under a minute to go here in the seventh. Sergey Kovalev. Making his cruiserweight debut. He's a three-time light heavyweight champion of the world. Been away from the ring for 31 months. And campaigning here in his new weight class. Kovalev looks like he's found his pace. He's found, he's found what he wants to do at cruiserweight. And he's starting right here tonight. You know, uh, most fighters know this saying, but if I were to scream right now to pull it, run your hands, run your hands. Basically what I mean is throw combinations. Punch when this guy punches and try to catch him. I believe that that's what, what Pulev should try to do now. Well, Pulev's going to have to start to go for broke in these final three rounds. Yeah, he's getting Sergei jabbed Kovalev to death. In control. Yeah, he's getting jabbed to death, Ray. That's, that's what it is. Oh, there's a nice left hook there from Pulev, and that ends the seventh. Three more rounds remaining, as it has been a clinic put on by that man, the crusher, hey, Chip, Sergei Kovalev. You're getting lazy now. Okay? Hey, we got three more rounds, baby. Okay? Okay? Can you, you hear me? Shake it. All you got to do is keep your jab going. You control it with the jab. The only time you're getting hit is when you're trying. I threw the foul call here, right? Huh? Don't follow him, right? Don't follow him. Cut him off. You're following him. Cut him off and close the gap. Hey, and stay low when you jab. Now listen, come behind the shoulder because he's trying to throw the uppercut. So throw the jab from here, not here. Start bullying him, like really start making him fight. 
He can't, he's not a dog. He's not a bigger dog than you, you understand? Yeah, right here we got the elbow from Pulev. Just bring it back his punch. Oh, that's a big, in the little pause that we had, I was like, hey, that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, you get hit with something boy. like that? Yeah, I need a pause, you know? But I actually put a question mark on that round. I want to go to Sean Wheeler. Like, who did you score that round for? I still gave it Sean 10 9 Sergey Kovalev. No. Pulev, though, definitely had a better round time called down by Raul Kais Jr. Go back down. Let's go. Touch gloves. Yo, you gotta Again, right these are relatively go. narrow yeah. rounds, but for me, Kovalev continues to dominate on the jab. You know, Sean, we hear all the time fighters say, I want to be first. What Kovalev, Kovalev is doing with his lead hand, he's being first and he's being last in every exchange. First and last oh. with, the, with the front hand. It's, it's rare to see that. Using the, the back, the, 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 the front hand is a hook to end or it's a body shot. It's usually not a jab. That's, that's a very rare case to see. And Kovalev is doing that and taking control with the fight. Well, he's piecing up the face of Travel Pula slowly but steadily as you're seeing bruising and swelling and a cut underneath the right eye of Travel Pulev because of that jab that has been the primary weapon of choice for the former light heavyweight champion of the world. I tell you what, I felt like Tur Turville was two steps behind Kovalev. And I feel like this round, things are a little different. He looks to be just one step, if not one half, a half of a step behind uh, Ko Kovalev now. 260 jabs thrown for Sergei Kovalev. That is well over what Travel Pulev has thrown. He's at 145. He's got to do something. You can't allow yourself to just get jabbed with death all 12 rounds. It's been eight rounds of you getting jabbed with death. You, you have that. to switch it up. You should see that. You should make an adjustment. Yeah. You should have known by now that the last thing you're getting hit with almost, after almost every put right there is a jab. You use different defense, but that's yep. not, it doesn't appear to be in Pulev's arsenal. You know what this reminds me of, guys? This reminds me of back when the Klitschko's were in, were in their heyday, and they would literally jab their opponents to quote unquote and suffer, have them suffer defeats and win the fight based on their jab alone, and that's what Kovalev has done tonight. Yep, and I, and I, and I like what I saw from Pulev. Pulev going to the body now. Why don't you try something? Now I see him trying to start at the body first and bring it up top. I think that that's an adjustment he should have made long ago, and maybe that was something the corner could have told him before uh, eight rounds of a 10 round fight. I know I'm borrowing old references, but a wonderful late great Emmanuel Stewart is gonna get into the body of Buddy McGirt, and Buddy's gonna get on Sergey Kovalev as to say, okay, you jabbed him to death, now go out and finish this guy. <laughs> I think that's what AC wants. Yeah, but I don't know if we're going to see it, man. The strategy is just working too good right now. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm good with where we're at. You know what I mean? I like to hear what Buddy's got to say. Oh, look at that. A little bit off balance with Sergey Kovalev. But at the same time, I think AC being greedy, and that's okay to be greedy, you want to see the old crusher serve one AC. I mean, look, I want to see fireworks. That's what I come to see. <laughs> but we're seeing top tier boxing. The jab is boxing. That's hey, what we're seeing. But what do we get in fireworks? We always get the finale, right? That's right. Maybe we'll get the finale. Well, I know he wants the bonsai, so we'll see if we get the bonsai 9 and 10. Well, Pulev better come in that 12th round and throw punches till the shoes come off. <laughs> from here, please, this round, trust me. Okay, when you're doing it from here, you're getting hit with unnecessary shots. Here you see everything coming, okay? Round nine, nice deep breath, let us go, here you go. In six more minutes, you can do this shit all day, man. So get this right here. Double it, triple it. You don't need anything else. Okay, it's round nine. Okay, don't, please not from this angle, please. Okay, please, everything from here, okay? Jab in the right hand to the body. We say it's chest, not checkers. Right here, we see a straight right that lands. And then the jab, the trailing jab didn't land that time. But guess what? Right back is Pulev. Coming back with the counter punch and landing it. You got to start keeping up with this guy's moves and beating him either at the beginning or at the end of these exchanges. Round nine, this one scheduled for 10. Ray for Showtime Sean Porter, AC Cassiani, along with Sean Wheelock and Roxy Diaz here at the legendary forum for the main event of Trilla vs. Five. Compliments of Triller Fight Club and Buddy McGirt telling Sergey Kovalev, double up on the jab, triple up on the jab, use the right hand, stay out of danger, and then it should be coasting to a decision victory. Yep, yep, that ain't what AC want to hear, but it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a science project, it's a sweet science. 
listen, this is what it's going to look like when Buddy McGurk was pretty much trying to say to Sergey Kovalev, stay out of danger and don't be too aggressive. I'll tell you what, though, when you can see a guy bouncing this late in the fight, round nine of ten, you see the bounce in the legs of Pulev, he's still very much alive in this fight. Do not blink, do not close your eyes, do not change the channel. Something could happen. It could be a case, too, in the fight against Canelo when Kovalev was boxing and then decided to engage in a firefight, he got caught. Now, obviously, I'm not saying to Ralph Pulev is Canelo, but the fact that this is a heavier weight division, 25 pounds north, and I think this is Buddy McGurk to say, let me keep my man fresh and safe, and then let's move on to bigger and higher, more profile names. That's exactly what Buddy said, but the thing is, Kovalev's got to stay smart not get greedy or not get lazy. It's hard to do when you've controlled a fight this long. You feel like you're in control, that cruise control, and sometimes, you know, if you ain't holding them with that steering wheel, something could, something could happen. You know? Well, they say it's the whole mindset, work smarter, not harder, and I think that's what we're seeing from Sergey Kovalev. I mean, a punch is a punch. You know, if you're still in danger at all times. You cannot, you cannot let Pulev get inside. So how would you assess Showtime, this new refined cruiserweight version of Sergey Kovalev? Uh, it's good. I, you know, we, I, I do what they see. We want to see the power. We want to see you crush these guys. I mean, the boxing has been terrific, superb tonight by Kovalev. I don't think I can use superb because I used it for the other Kovalev brother. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I can't use It's been terrific for, uh, for Kovalev. And I think that uh, now you got to close, but you got to stay smart. Well, he has been very clinical in his approach against Trevel Pulev, and he's doing it in a way that he's not expending unnecessary energy. He has been very economical with his, with his punch selection. Yeah, I, I, I want to see Trevel keep applying the pressure like you are. Don't take steps back. You cannot afford to take any steps back. The thing about Kovalev is he's pulling out with his hands down. Keep pushing the, the temple at this guy, and you might catch him. And you know what? I don't mind this Sergey Kovalev because guess what? He's not just going out trying to rip your head off, even though that's fun to watch. But now we're seeing this refined boxing skill. Like a fine wine, it gets better with age. There you go. I don't drink wine, so. Oh, I do. And I'll tell you what, a nice bottle of wine that's been aged 50, 20 years, very it's, nice. It's all right. Uh, it's pristine. All right, all right. Move if you have to. Listen to me. Last round, touch club. Hey, listen to me. If he's coming out crazy, use your legs. Yeah. And then when you do this, he's lost. Okay? If he comes out crazy, use your legs and then start backing him up with the jab. Don't get into no exchanges with him, okay? You understand me? Don't slug with him. This is what you work for, right? Hey, we has gone, right? Marsh. All right. Let me Marsh. have it then. Let me have everything, bro. He's too small for you. Hey. Hey, he's too small for you, okay? He's too small. Let's go. Bully him, baby. Put your hands in Lord. Let's go. Three minutes, baby. Two different Three philosophies from the corners. Back. Buddy McGirt saying don't slug with them. I've been casing, telling Terrell Bullock, he's too small for you. Go after him. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to see in this 10th and final round? Yeah, you know, if he was too small, Terrell, you would have exposed that by now. Yep. Now it's time for you to just go forward, let it all loose, and like... Like Iba said, give me everything. You got to give me everything now. Tell them who that. Sean Wheeler through nine. How do you have it? Eight rounds to one, 89-82, Ray, for Sergey Kovalev. I felt that Kovalev really took round number eight off. Pulev, it seemed to be his plan B going to the body. But then round number nine, here comes that jab again. All lead hand dominant from Sergey Kovalev. Pulev played a lot of defense, just like he's doing now. Sergey Kovalev is losing in his cruiserweight debut. Listen, I think this has been a brilliant game plan put together by Buddy McGood to try to get his man back in the win column. Shake yeah. Off the ring list after 31 months. I think everything that Buddy McGurk set out to do with Sergey Kovalev, they've been able to accomplish with the exception of getting the knockout, but I think that'll come in his new league division. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't uh, like Buddy as a trainer just because he's he's a Hall of Fame trainer and, and fighter, I believe. I, I paid attention to Buddy over the years. I've known Buddy for a long time. Very intelligent trainer. And he's led Kovalev in his first fight out in 31 months against an undefeated fighter in a new weight class, a heavyweight class, to a, a very good victory should this fight end now.
And see, the one thing I would say about Buddy McGirt, especially when it comes to his fighters, is that he's very in tune with them, and case in point, with Sergey Kovalev's debut here in the Cruiserweight division. I mean, I think he wanted to make his statement as, you know, Kovalev's trainer, and get this win, secure this win. So this was a safe fight for them. This whole strategy, this game plan was a safe strategy. But I think it is sort of an adaptation process for Sergey Kovalev. As he gets older, he needs to be able to extend his career. And how do you do that? Not by being in wars, yes. but by putting on boxing clinics like this. Absolutely. When you, when you can box, use your legs when you need to. Use your, uh, your, your reach. I mean, the whole nine, Kovalev has really done all of that. He's looked very uh, comfortable. Phenomenal, terrific tonight. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but Sergey Kovalev, he has fresh legs. He looks to be a young 39, oh. but he just got a, a shot behind the head. He stumbled and he immediately shook his head. It is a slip. Uh, I think a punch did land. Uh, you know, to the discretion of the ref, I like, I like the ref decision. But he looks to be a fresh 39, Sean. Yeah, no, he does. He does. He looks to be fresh. He looks very confident, intuitive. I mean, everything you wanted to see from Kovalev, you, you saw it tonight. No, 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 Beyond, no, 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 no. you know, those big punches that we've seen see land at 175. But he's got time at, at, in his first fight at Kuzade to adjust to the way to bring those, that power with him. So Sergey Kovalev now campaigning in the Cruiserweight division as a cut underneath the left eye of Travel Pulev. Pulev. His undefeated record likely going to go by the wayside as Sergey Kovalev, unless we see something egregious by the judges, will likely coast to a unanimous decision victory. That was a coast. Yeah, he coasted it. Nine to one, eight to two, however you want to slice it. And he is cruising in the cruiserweight division. Uh, you stole that from Sean. Uh, I did. I'm not going to lie to you. You stole that. You, you, you heard it just like yeah, that. I did. I, said, you know, I, I had to borrow it is what I did. But Sean Wheelock, your scorecard, sir. Nine rounds to one. 99-91, Sergey Kovalev. You know, it's interesting when you see scorecards like that where you think, wow, that was dominant. It was dominant, but this was technically dominant. We didn't see those power punches from Sergey Kovalev as we saw at 175 pounds, but for me, this was a master class in how to use the jab from Sergey Kovalev. Well, as you see, Travel Pulev cut underneath his left eye and also a. Uh, Let's take a look at some of the action from the 10th round. Yeah, I mean, uh, both guys just kind of working their way through that last round. Kovalev stayed strong. He stayed smart. Stayed safe for the most part. We saw him got, he got caught right there, but, you know, that's expected late in the game and when, when you have a lead like that. Well, Sergey Kovalev, he has his daughter, I believe, Milana and Alexander. They are both in the ring. He says he hates leaving his family. And there's Travel Pulev, who's looking to remain undefeated. And now, to make it all official, let's send it up to ring announcer. Here's the Hall of Famer, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Pat Russell has it 98-92. Same score from Joseph Mason. And it's 97-93 from Ralph McKnight. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Now a winner in the cruiserweight division, Sergey Prussia! So Sergey Kovalev makes his cruiserweight debut a successful one as he defeats. Let's go to your right here. Turbel Pulev, Handy Pulev, his so first professional look. defeat. And Showtime, did you agree with the judges' scorecards? <laughs> uh, I, I, to me, it didn't matter what those scorecards were. They were all going to read that Kovalev won that fight. He controlled the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He controlled the whole nine. Point. He worked behind his jab. He worked smart. Uh, just uh, overall, great performance for his first fight at Kuzovic. And let's take a look at the punch that numbers as Sergey Kovalev with his two kids, his son Alexander, his daughter Milana, and here were how the punches unfolded numerically, Sean. 500 punches strong at Cruiserweight. I mean, I think through 10 rounds, that's that's pretty impressive. Uh, what's that, about 50 punches per round, and the Cruiserweight division is pretty good. And, uh, you know, landed 25% of his power punches. Most of those jabs were landing, and jabs are not count considered power punches.